Oh my. Oh my gosh. How did I get this race car in here? Freaking A, man. Yes, sir. Rise and grind. Hope you guys are doing amazing today. I hope you're having one of the best days of your life today. <laughs> Hit you with some positivity right off the bat, you know what I mean? Wow, okay, so the car is revealed. The new look, man. Seems like most of you dig it. Some of you don't, which is totally cool. Totally cool. It's my whip. You know, I'm about to build this thing the way I want. But yeah, man, I'm stoked on it. It's come so far in such a short amount of time, and this car is just right where I want it to be. A lot more to do, but it's a good, good start. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video. Another day with me. So for today, I figured I'd make a little video talking about some things that I've learned over the past few years of being a BMW YouTuber and just like a YouTuber in general. I know I have a lot of followers or subscribers who are aspiring YouTubers or just want to build their own audience and I figured maybe some of these tips will help you guys out. Um, if so, make sure you smash the living daylights out of that like button because it actually does help us YouTubers uh, as far as like the YouTube algorithm and these videos to get seen. And hey man, we could use all the help we can get when we're doing this game. Coffee secured. You know what that means. Time to open up those valves. Good morning. Still trying to get used to that view <laughs> of having that wing in the back. It looks crazy. I can't wait to have a roll cage in this thing. Some badass seats. <laughs> Ah, oh, this car is so fun. This whole build is just, oh, I just love it. I can be having like the wackest day ever and get behind this car and it just brings the fattest smile to my face. <laughs> this thing's just so much fun. It's just so much fun to drive. Like the experience of this car is just, oh, yeah, I don't know. I just love this car. <laughs> Got 130 miles on the new brake pads. Almost bedded in. Got another 220 to go. And then we are all set for full on braking. Full gas, full brake. We found this new spot the other day. And it is so sick. So sick. Like, dude, look at this cool architecture, structural building, parking structure thing. <laughs> it's so dope. this will work. <laughs> should see how I have the camera right now. It's like tangled around wires. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and just things in general that I've learned over the past few years of being a BMW YouTuber and just making YouTube content in general. And like I said before, I think I have some of my audience members that are aspiring YouTubers or people just that wanna create content and do this for a living. So the first one that I'm going to talk to you guys about is just the simple fact that, you know, when you're making content and you're making videos and you're trying to reach a broad amount of people, just a lot of people, a big audience, you just can't please everyone. So at the end of the day, you just want to make sure that whatever you're doing, like it's making you happy and it's truly what you believe in because you're never going to be able to just please everyone. There's always going to be people who disagree with what you're doing or hate on you. Um, it's just part of the game and you have to get really good at taking that criticism, taking that heat and not taking it personally and not becoming sensitive or defensive about it. Just taking in that criticism for what it is and kind of just rolling with the punches. One of the most important things that I've learned with YouTube is that you're always going to get haters. They're always going to be there. Trolls are always going to be in your comment sections. You just got to learn how to take those comments and not take them personally. Sort of just like water off a duck's back, you know what I mean? Like don't let it affect you. And really all that negativity, you just gotta ignore it and kind of move on. It's hard, it's really hard to do that. It's easier said than done. It's hard to do that at first, but after a while you kind of just get used to it and you get numb to it. So that's my first tip you guys, just make the content that you love. You really can't please everyone in this world. Just so make sure you're doing this for the right reasons and you're just putting out the content that you're really into. Second thing with making videos and making YouTube content is consistent. Consistency, consistency is, is everything in this game. When I first started out, I was making one video per week and then I really started to see the benefits 
and the return and a jump in subscribers when I started making three videos per week. Two to three videos per week. I upped my game, basically tripled everything that I was doing, and that was really when I started to see a massive jump in my channel and more people coming to the channel because I decided to be more consistent and put out more content. And then once you start making those videos and you're kind of used to doing that, it feels weird when you don't make it. You get into this structure and this just this habit of making these videos every week. And when I don't have a video ready for a certain day, I feel like I'm really slacking. So this is like, I take it like a job, you know what I mean? Like this is really important to me and it's really something that I love doing. So I put all of my effort into it and I make sure that I'm super consistent with content. And if you really wanna grow and grow the right way on YouTube, you have to be consistent. There's no way around it, there's no shortcuts. You have to do it for a long time and you have to be super consistent. So for the third one, you guys, this kinda goes with my first point um, when it comes to like trolls and haters you don't want to slap back at them like you don't want to come back with like some snarky comment or getting defensive it's always the best strategy to just let it ride just either completely ignore it or try to hit them back with like a love comment here's a perfect example like hey John I hate your content you're a loser I hate your car and then what you want to respond to that is either nothing or hit them with love Hit them with the, thank you so much for taking the time to comment on my video and watch my content. <laughs> a troll never really knows what to do with that kind of comment. And a lot of times when people are hating on your content, they're just looking for attention. So honestly, the best strategy for stuff like that is to just completely ignore it. So for number four, when you're building your car on your channel, just make sure that you're building the car and just building the kind of content with that car the way that you want to build it. You really don't wanna let outside influences come in and affect what you're trying to do and what your vision is. Because a lot of people, like when you first start out, like they don't see what the full vision is and that vision might change and that's okay. It's a strength to change your mind. Some people think that if you're changing your mind on something that it's like bad or it's negative. It's not at all. Like we all change every single day and it's good to be able to just change up what you're doing because you want to. That's a strength in my opinion. I do it all the time. Like someone commented the other day, like John said that he'd never put a wing on a car and now he did. Yeah, man, like I change my mind all the time. Every day is a new day and it's a new vibe and I kind of changed the way that I wanted to go about this car. When I first bought it, did I think I'd be building like a track car? No, not at all, man. This is gonna be like a daily driver that would never see the track. Now I'm like, let's go track it. Let's build this thing for the track. And that's just what I'm into. So it's okay to embrace change and just build your car the way that you wanna build it without that outside influence. It's also gonna keep you a lot more happy with your own build too, because you're doing what you want. The next one that we're gonna talk about is Fucking dogs, dude. I'm trying to make a video. The next one that we're gonna talk about, you guys, is never undervalue yourself as a creator. Know your worth and know your value. When you're first starting out, yes, you have to grind. You have to build up that subscriber base. You have to build up that audience for companies to work with you. But never let someone undervalue you or you undervalue yourself as a creator. These videos take a lot of time, sometimes 10, 14 hours. Some don't really take that much time. Some are like a couple hours. But it's a lot of work to come up with the ideas, film it, uh, edit it, execute it, promote it, market it, post it. There's a lot of stuff that goes into these videos that people don't really understand. And you really never wanna let anyone else take that for granted because your time is worth something and you're trying to build something that's hopefully profitable. So make sure that you're never letting anyone who works with you undervalue you as a creator. I have turned down numerous partnerships and video ideas from people just because I didn't think what they were trying to pitch to me was really worth my time. And that's me understanding my value and my self-worth. And that is super important if you wanna be successful and if you actually wanna make a living off of doing the things that you love, make sure you know your worth and you know your value and you stick to it. So for the next one, you guys, is this is a really important one. You can't do everything by yourself. There's always gonna be other people that are better at certain things that maybe you aren't the best at. Sure, you can learn some things and you can get better at it, but when you get to a certain level, you're gonna to wanna to build a team of people around you that each have individualized strengths that are better than what your strengths are. So I am continually building a team of friends and just the homies around me that are all into what I do, but they all have different strengths. Like some people are better at video, some people are better at products, some people are better at installs, some people are better at photography. I like to take the time and find those people and just include them on my inner circle and really build that up because that's gonna help you in the long run. You can't, you can't do everything yourself, you're only one person. And you will get to a certain level, like if you're doing this seriously, you will get to a certain level where you're just gonna need 
help. If you want to get to a bigger place, you need to recruit other people and bring them in. And no, their services shouldn't be free all the time. Like it's good for someone to throw you a bone in the beginning, but make sure that you're compensating those people fairly and make sure that you're showing them that you care about what they're doing and you value them. I have a lot of friends in this industry, in the product industry, the car industry, BMWs, photography, film. I utilize as many of them as I can and I always make sure to let them know that I value them and compensate them appropriately for anything that they're doing with me or in my videos or my cars. You never wanna be taking those things for granted and like I said before, you never wanna undervalue yourself or your friends. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The next one is um, your content is what is going to dictate your growth. I see a lot of people on like YouTube and like on Instagram that are trying to get shout outs and stuff thinking that that's gonna grow whatever they're trying to build and that is absolutely not the case. There is no shortcut in this game or just building up whatever you're trying to build. There is no shortcut. You have to be in this for the long term to actually make an impact. See, the problem with shout outs is once you do get that shout out or whatever you're trying to go after and all these people take a look at your page, if your content isn't good, like if you're not continually putting out solid content and people are actually enjoying it and it's engaging, no one's gonna stick around. No one's gonna follow you. No one's gonna subscribe to your channel. So the shout out is completely worthless. If you're getting a shout out, you wanna make sure that you have the content to back it up. And that's why I always think that it's best to just focus on the content, build that up. The proof is in the pudding then. Focus on that content, build it up. And once you're at a point that you're actually putting out really good content, you'll be surprised the people that will come on your doorstep and start knocking on your door to work with you. From what I see, there's just a lot of people who think that there's like a shortcut to succeed in business in general and just life in general and there isn't you have to be in this for the long game and if you have that mentality like that five year ten year mentality you're gonna win you're gonna win past everyone who's trying to do it in the short term this next point kind of goes with what i was just talking about don't focus on right now focus on where you're going so don't focus on where you are focus on where you're going because a lot of that has to do with comparing and you never wanna compare yourself to other people. It's just gonna crush your hustle, it's gonna crush your motivation. You want to always just be focusing on that long-term goal. Like I never really think about what I'm doing like right now. I always think about what's gonna happen in five years. Like where do I wanna be in five years? I always invest for long-term. I never really think about how fast can I go right now or in like the next week. I always think about this is gonna be massive in five or 10 years. That is always my mindset. And that's the best way to grow in business, YouTube, like Instagram, whatever you're trying to do, man, that long-term will always crush. <laughs> this next one is that, um, them coffee burps, bruh. Them coffee burps, bruh. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> I'm in this parking garage just like yelling at the camera. People are like, what is he doing? Um, this next one is... What is the next one? You forgot. You big dumb idiot. You forgot the next one. What is the next one, John? What is it? Why don't you tell us? This next one is that you need to try and you need to taste as many things as possible. Like like I said before, like your content is always gonna change and you just, you never know really what you love until you just try a bunch of shit. Like I had to try a ton of things out, man. Like nothing was ever like the setting stone or like the perfect path or strategy to make things work on YouTube or like Instagram or business. It was all about just trying as many things as possible. And you also don't really know what you like. Like you don't really know what you like until you try a bunch of different stuff. So don't just do like one thing and think that, oh man, this is gonna work no matter what I do. Try a bunch of stuff, because you never know. You never know what you're gonna like the most. And then it might be like a combination of things, like this car is a perfect example, you know? Like I didn't know that I was gonna love the M2 as much as I do. This is by far my favorite car I've ever owned. And I really never even thought that I would own an M2. I was like, oh, I'm an F80 guy. I'm a sedan guy. Or like, I'm, a, I'm gonna get an M4 if I get a coupe. Then I got this car and I was like, what? I've been sleeping on the M. This is such my favorite car, hands down. Like you guys already know that. You know how much I love this car, man. There's just something about this car that's incredibly special to me and I just, I love it. I love building this car. It's so fun. I love the way it looks, everything that it takes, all the parts that I put on it. I just, I just love it. So the point is I never would have known that this was the car for me unless I tried a bunch of different stuff out and I was willing to try a bunch of different things out. And this also goes the same for like content that you're making. You need to try a bunch of different styles of content to see what sticks and see what works. And that's always changing. You never stop trying new things. 
You also can't grow unless you're trying new things. It's true. You gotta try a bunch of new stuff in order to grow, just in life, in general. Okay, I think, I think we're on number 10. I think I'm giving you guys 10 of these tips today. The last one is, is really, all of these things take time. Like you really just have to be putting in the work and you gotta be patient, man. You gotta be super patient when it comes to YouTube and just working on your car. Like I said before, like comparing what you're doing to other people is like, it's the worst, man. Like that's like cancer. You never wanna be comparing what you're doing to other people. Like when I first started out, I was building my car and you see other people that have really dope ass builds. Like perfect example, like my buddy Matt M2 Ghost has like the sickest M2 on the planet, a PSM wide body M2. And in the beginning, I was like, oh man, my, my M2 will never be as dope as Matt's. But the honest truth is, I was comparing my car to Matt's, which is exactly what I shouldn't be doing. And you just need to build these at your own pace. Sick bike, bro. What's up, man? Hello, man. What up, bro? It's clean. Thanks, dude, appreciate it. You up here taking videos as well? Yeah, just doing a little YouTube video. Sick little bra. Alright bro, nice to meet you. Bye Peace. So dope. New spot. I got the boot. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, man. That spot is notorious for getting kicked out. Anyways, you guys get the point. Be patient, dude. Just keep going after the stuff that you want to do. Like TJ says, keep moving forward. But be patient. Just take your time. Don't compare yourself to other people. All good things in life take a little bit of time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you don't subscribe, please do consider it. Just take a look at this snack mobile. <laughs> but yeah, man, I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one.